Hey friends, Mike Adams here with the Audacity Bootcamp. In this video, I want to put another layer on the conversation that I started in the last video about LUFs or loudness leveling as opposed to amplify and volume. But in this video, I want to focus in on just the volume aspect of it. In the last video, we talked about the difference between LUFs and the amplify effect within Audacity. In this video, I want to talk about the difference between loudness leveling and volume in our projects. In this file that I've got opened up here before us, I've got a waveform in there that I recorded a little bit ago, and it's it's leveled to a minus 19 LUFs for a mono podcast. I haven't done any other editing on it. I haven't done any other post-production on it at all. I just recorded it, and then I applied loudness leveling to it at a minus 19 LUFs. But let's play just a little bit of it and give it a listen. This is a short piece of audio that I'm recording in order to illustrate the difference between loudness leveling or LUFs and volume. So, so just a short piece of audio that I recorded. If you were looking at the uh, meter bar as it was playing back, you'll see that it peaked out at about a minus 2 dB. Overall, it's a minus 19 LUFs uh, beginning to end or start to finish. That's the loudness level of the waveform. Now here's an important concept that we need to really grasp. Loudness is a digital factor of the waveform. The loudness of the waveform is embedded in the waveform itself. It's a digital value that's embedded in the waveform. And unless I change the waveform in some way, I can't affect or I'm not affecting loudness. Now, if I reapply loudness to a lower level or a higher level, I change that value within the waveform and I adjust the loudness overall. But that's different than volume. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewind this to show you what I mean. Put it back at the start. I'm going to play it again. And while it plays, I'm going to come up here to the speaker uh, slider and I'm going to raise the volume and lower the volume a couple of times and play around with it while the uh, file's playing. And then come back and explain why I did that. This is a short piece of audio that I'm recording in order to illustrate the difference between loudness leveling or LUFs and volume. So let's let this record a little bit and I will continue to talk and let's get enough of a waveform on here to do something with and then we'll start. Okay, so you saw what I did there. I raised and lowered the, uh, the speaker volume. I'm hearing that in my headphones. You're hearing that on a video. If, you're, if you've got headphones attached, you heard that volume change as well. I just raised and lowered it on purpose in order to illustrate what I want to say next. And that is that I can adjust the volume without affecting the loudness. The loudness, again, is embedded in the waveform. I didn't change the loudness. What did I change? I changed the volume. And the volume is what I'm hearing, in, in my case, in my, in my headphones. You might be listening in a speaker, in a car, on your stereo, you know, something like that. But I didn't touch the loudness. Let me rewind this just a little bit here and go back to the beginning and look at the waveform again. In other words, what I'm saying is I didn't change the waveform while I moved the volume. Volume and loudness are two different things. Loudness is a digital value that's embedded at every point, every sample point in the waveform. It's part of the sampling point. It's part of the information that's in each sampling point. It tells Audacity, this is the loudness. And that is separate from volume. I can chase volume up and down all day long, but I haven't touched the loudness on my waveform, have I? And so when we think about loudness, think about the fact that loudness is a, a embedded value within your waveform. And volume is something that the end user can adjust, but the end user can never adjust loudness unless they get into the waveform and edit the waveform in some way to adjust loudness. Now I can go into my amplify effect and I can, I can use the amplify effect in Audacity to reduce the amplitude level of this entire track or of a section of the track. And in that case, I am manipulating the waveform. But that's different than volume because volume isn't a factor of the waveform. It's something that the end user can adjust. And so the importance, I hit my microphone, so the importance of adjusting LUFS leveling in your project so that you have an overall perceived loudness is so that the end user who's listening to your podcast or to your production doesn't have to change the volume. The volume's consistent through, throughout the project, throughout the waveform, throughout your podcast. And so once they start playing the podcast, they get the volume set where they want. Our goal as editors 
is for the end user, for the listener, not to have to adjust the volume again. And we do that through loudness leveling. So this is either going to help clear things up for you or it's going to muddle it more. I hope it's the former and not the latter. Hey, a reminder, I'm online at audacitybootcamp.com and I teach a video course, on-demand video course, six plus hours at the time of this recording of on-demand video at udemy.com. That course is called Audacity Bootcamp, Beginner to Advanced. I'll have a link to both in the description below. And until next time, y'all take care.